My name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training. I'm a specialist in embodied learning. Now, one way to look at that is that our bodies are actually answers to six questions. When I say bodies, I should clarify that I mean the, the way we live in our bodies subjectively, the posture and movement of the body, rather than the, the physical size or shape of it. Now, the answers to these questions determine how we are, who we are, how others perceive us, and yet they might not be, um, people might not be aware of them. So this video will make you a bit more aware of how your body is answering these six questions. So as any journalist will tell you, any story has, has six questions. These are what, where, when, how, why, and who. Uh, in your body, what is, is the weighty, significant question. What am I? And this is associated with the vertical dimension. So a sense of being grounded, having our feet on the ground, being down to earth, weightiness. Um, what what will I, do I stand for? What won't I stand for? What am I committed to? That's our down quality. <clears throat> yeah. And is up, which is vision, which is seeing the big picture, which is, is spirituality. There's a sense of um, dignity in up. So it's what am I unattached to as well? Vertical dimension, what? Where is about the horizontal. So inwards and outwards. The where am I? Am I taking up social space? Am I going out in an extrovert way? Or perhaps going in in a more contained, introverted way? Neither of those are good nor bad, but the, that's the where of where I am. The sagittal plane, so that's uh, backwards and forwards. The sagittal plane is, answers the question, when am I? So if I'm centered, I'm here and now. However, most, more frequently, people are in the future. So they're rushing, they're, they're looking ahead. It's all about action. Um, or sometimes they're back. They're all about the past, the history, evaluation. So am I more forwards, back, or am I in the middle? That's the sagittal plane that answers the question, when? So the next three are more diffuse. So they aren't associated with a particular dimension. There's the why, and that's a person's passion, a person's drive and energy that's apparent within them. Who? Our identity, whether that's as a dad or a mum, as a business person, as an English person, our identity is embodied. And again, it's diffuse. There's a way in which being a business person or an English person, say, is in my whole embodiment. And I have a different embodiment if I was uh, not an uncle, for example, or, or if I wasn't English. The sixth one is how. So how we do movement. How is about how we do different things and we move through space like we move through life, as Joseph Heller said. So um, there's another bunch of qualities I'll do another video for around how, but for now just know that the way in which we move is significant. So there's internal correlates to all of these, there's external correlates in terms of our work, like vision and application for example, um, getting on with it or evaluating it. There's also emotional correlates. So let's take what. So the up of that is to do with joy, yeah, happiness, exuberance, and the down might be to be more of a sadness, yeah? Mm. So uh, in the future, forwards facing, more anger if it's tense, or curiosity if it's relaxed. Backwards might be emotional kind of evaluation or anxiety, or perhaps fear if it was tense. So there's emotional correlates to all of these. So the applications for these for leadership and communication, I hope you're seeing are fairly huge. I invite you to check out some more of our videos. Please leave your comments, please like this and favorite this to help us get up the YouTube rankings. And of course, if you wanna work with this material personally or in your organization, then get in touch. Thank you.